What book in the Bible is the best to read after Matthew? If you've just finished the Gospel of Matthew, you're probably feeling pretty enlightened about the teachings and life of Jesus Christ. You've traveled from the Nativity through the Sermon on the Mount, right up to the Great Commission. So where do you turn next in that grand old book? Well, you could take the conventional route and proceed directly to the Gospel of Mark. It's like a fast-paced retelling of the life of Christ with some different parables and details that Matthew might have skipped over. Mark is the shortest gospel, so you'll fly through it. But you might want to switch it up a bit. If that's the case, I'd suggest diving into the book of Acts. It's the sequel to the gospels and picks up where they leave off, chronicling the apostles' experiences and the spread of Christianity in the wake of Jesus' ascension to heaven. It's written by Luke, the same guy who wrote the Gospel of Luke, which is famously thorough and investigative in its storytelling. Acts is like the bridge between the Gospels and the Epistles, the letters. It sets the stage for the letters of Paul and other apostolic leaders as they build the early church. Plus, you get all the stories about Paul's conversion, Peter's adventures, and the overall whirlwind that was the early Christian community. I'm in Portland, Oregon, and there's this element of pioneer spirit that still lingers here. In a way, the book of Acts has that same kind of frontier vibe. It's about charting new territories, but spiritually speaking, it's fitting for anyone who's just sunk their teeth into Matthew and is looking to keep that momentum rolling. All that said, the Bible is not a linear journey. You can leap from one testament to another, from history to poetry, and prophecy to epistles. It's a mixtape of genres and insights. So read Acts, sure, but Mark is also waiting for you when you circle back. Enjoy the journey.